let's see. So another thing, one th- just a classic problem that people have is that it'll just be like, you know, we'll get a call and they'll be like, Ryan, Cognos is going crazy. Like it's acting all weird. Like queries aren't running. People can't log in. Like what's going on? One of the most common things when that starts happening uh, is actually that your install drive uh, is full. <laughs> right. So the end the 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 the, the 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 best practice is generally to have your OS drive and then your drive that your um that your cog that Cognos is installed on, right? So in this case you can see I've got local disk C, which is where the OS is installed, and then data is actually where the Cognos installation is. And if you just look at the properties of this, you can see how much available space there is. And this will start to fill up with dump files and temp files and data sets and all sorts of stuff that Cognos is accumulating over time. And when this fills up, everything is gonna go bonkers. And so if you're ever in a situation where everything is going bonkers, one of the first places I would check is here and just say, is there, am I running out of free space on the Cognos install directory? Um, and if the answer is yes, what you're going to need to do is take Cognos offline and you're going to need to look at some ways to, to free up space here. And we're going to walk through how to do that right now. But I will tell you multiple times in my career, both as a consultant and back um, uh, when I was on the kind of customer side of the house, I've had this happen. And, and once it happens to you one time, you know to always look for it. it just when, when suddenly everything's going bad. This is one of the, the primary culprits for that. So I, I would check that. Now, what are you going to want to do in that situation? All right, here's what you're going to want to do. Um, there's in the Cognos install directory, there are a couple places that you're going to want to look um, to, to try to clear this up, okay? So the first one is going to be the temp folder, right? Um, and in the temp folder, you, you can come in here and, and basically the classic thing you would say is just like, just delete all of this, right? So this is going to just accumulate more and more stuff over time. It can wind up being pretty big. Um, and you can come in and, and blast it and Cognos will rebuild the directories in here and everything as necessary. So I've definitely seen cases where this folder gets huge, huge, uh, and, Clearing it out is a good practice. Now, like I said, you're going to need to take Cognos offline to do this, okay? So one of the kind of overall practices that we would recommend you do is schedule this. Like, hey, every Friday we do this, um, that sort of thing. I see Chad saying on Windows they had a monitor that would warn if the storage of the drive, right? So if you can, you can proactively set this up. Um, disable JVM dumps could be an option, right? All of that is stuff that you're going to want to monitor. Now, here's the here's the thing that I actually didn't know till today, when our friend Paul uh, clued me into it, is that when you upload extensions, um, what's going to happen? Like, say you up upload the cog box, okay? So, uh, if, if for those of you who don't know, the cog box is like Cognos Paul takes all the cool stuff he builds, we put it into a free utility that we have available called the cog box. If you go to pmsquare.com, you can check it out. A lot of amazing stuff. And a further plug, next Thursday, Paul and I will be doing a live stream together to unveil the 2021.1 Cogbox release, which is going to have some really cool new features that I know you guys are going to love. Okay, with that said, when you upload the Cogbox, check out this extensions folder. Um, there are going to be things like here it is, right? So this is the Cogbox. So when you come in and delete temp, you can't just delete everything anymore. You need to not delete this extensions folder. Otherwise, you're going to cause problems with the uploaded extensions. So a little pro tip. I didn't even know that until today. Um, I put up a call for like, hey, what are certain things I should be sure to tell people? And Paul was like, crucial you tell them this. So this extensions folder, don't delete it uh, when, you're, when you're deleting um, temp. Okay, other things you might want to delete. Um, the data folder. OK, the data folder is going to contain a lot of um, things that that get, you know, data related things. But one of the things that's going to come in here is if you go to data, data files, data set cache, these are the 
data files. These are your like data sets, okay? So um, how, do, how do data sets work? The, they're stored, everybody knows, uh, well, not, probably not everybody knows, but a lot of people know, oh, data sets or uploaded Excel files are stored in the content store. When a user makes a request, the query service says, do I have a local copy of the data set that the user request is referencing? If no, if yes, it will pull the local copy. If no, it will fetch a copy, the, the copy from the content store and it will put it here, okay? And then it will load it into memory. These are Apache Parquet files. It will load the Parquet file into memory and all the querying will go against that memory, right? This is why they're so fast. So here's what's gonna happen though. Let's say someone uploads an Excel file and this works for data sets and Excel files. They're exactly the same under the hood. There's no difference. Someone uplo uploads an Excel file. They mess around with it for 20 minutes. They forget about it. They never touch it again. It's gonna sit here forever. So you're gonna wanna start to monitor this as well for copies of data sets that appear here, uploaded Excel files that appear here. It's just gonna start filling up with stuff. This is another location um, I would look to to delete. The third thing that people sometimes delete um, is they'll go ahead and they will, uh, and this is, I, I generally delete this, um, is they delete the uh, logs. So the logs eventually can fill up and, and have a lot of stuff in them. And you may not wanna retain them, you may wanna retain them. You know, a lot of the places I've worked, we also delete this. And all of that, you'd be amazed at how much, um, how much space you can fill up by deleting these directories. 